Hey guys, this is a session with Penny, the red setter. She's two years old. And right now Josh is just walking with her in a heel command. The heel command means your dog is walking at the left side, following your pace, following your left leg. That means following all direction that you go in. So you'll see Josh changing his direction, walking in sort of an S-shaped figure. And this is to make sure that Penny understands that no matter where he goes on the walk, to stay by his left leg. She's doing a great job. As you can see, she's in that perfect heel position, which is what we call the Goldilocks position. Josh has his e-collar, and right here he makes a right-hand turn. And it's a really good way to see if Penny's actually paying attention. If she wasn't right there with him on that turn, that's a good opportunity for Josh to hold down pressure at a mild number, something that she can think through until she closes the gap. And we do this until she's not letting us hit e-collar pressure because she's right there with us. When we stop, Josh asks her to sit. He's going to go check out the area. We're going to release her. And then we release her to go on break. Break time is when she can go to the bathroom, she can stop, she can sniff, she can explore the area. And then when the break time's over, you'll notice Josh recalls her back into a heel. So it's a pattern that we use a lot with our dogs. We'll walk them in heel to a destination, release them to be free, go be a dog, sniff, go to the bathroom, have fun, and then recall back to a heel to the next destination or the next stop, which is back home. It's a really nice pattern. It doesn't take much time. You can keep your commands really sharp in a 10 to 15 minute walk, sometimes even less. Penny appreciates the freedom and it's fair to our dogs. So we say, walk nicely and then I'll give you freedom once we're here. So it's very balanced and the dogs understand as long as I walk nicely here, I'll get freedom up ahead. Now we're back to our heel, just as I said, and we're going to go to the next destination where we're going to practice a downstay. Throwing in a little bit of downstay proofing on this session. Basically, we put her in a downstay and then add distractions, just making sure she understands to stay no matter what is going on around her. This is a skill that is going to get her more outings in the real world. Another really basic pattern that we like to use a lot is healing to a destination, stop and sit, walk ahead of the dog to check out the area, and then release them. It's a heel to a sit to a break. And then when you're finished with that, you can recall your dog back to a stationary command or a heel. So it's a really practical way to nice use the work, obedience Penny. and keep everything really good. sharp.